Welcome to the October 22nd, 2010 edition of Inside Rensselaer, the video podcast that lets you know what's going on inside Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Let's start off with some campus news. The National Society of Black Engineers and the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers recently held their annual career fair. It's the largest student-run career fair in the country. Nearly 200 companies participated and over 2,200 students attended. The Career Development Center's sophomore career experience gives second-year students career, job search, and professional development opportunities through various programs, seminars, and networking activities. Last month, the CDC held this year's kickoff event to familiarize sophomores with the program. Rensselaer officially kicked off the 2010 United Way fundraising campaign, so be on the lookout for pledge opportunities, bake sales, raffles, and other events. The campaign runs through November 19th. The NCSA Athletic Recruiting's Collegiate Power Ranking assesses the academic and athletic standards of all NCAA athletic programs across the country. Fewer than 6% of schools earned a top spot in the top 100. Rensselaer was in this elite class at number 61. Among Division III schools, we placed 36th. An MPAC recently held Filament, a three-day festival celebrating new work in performance, visual arts, sound, and media. Hundreds of people attended, watching performances, observing the installations and exhibitions, and talking to the artist and curatorial staff. In student news, two doctoral students in the Department of Science and Technology Studies, Anna Lampro and Tahera Sahib, are among the first recipients of the Council of Women World Leaders Graduate Fellowships in Environmental Policy. Students in the International Scholars Program are 40% finished earning their RPI master's degree after a busy summer term where they spent a week in Troy, four weeks in Rome, Italy, four weeks in Shanghai, China, and a final week in Hartford, Connecticut. In research news, scientists within the Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies are using nuclear magnetic resonance to understand and improve an important protein purification process, the ultimate goal being to lower the cost of healthcare. In faculty news, Computational physicist Vincent Munier has joined Rensselaer as the Gail and Jeffrey L. Kodosky Class of 70 Constellation Professor of Physics, Information Technology, and Entrepreneurship. His research on the identification, manipulation, and use of novel materials bridges the gap between theory and application. President Shirley Ann Jackson was recently awarded an honorary degree from École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland. To celebrate the renowned career and many accomplishments of Professor Richard Siegel, the Department of Materials Science and Engineering hosted the Siegel Symposium on October 11th and 12th. And the campus community is invited to a memorial service on October 31st to celebrate the life of Lester Rubenfeld, Professor of Mathematics and Founding Director of the Center for Initiatives in Pre-College Education. He passed away in July. In alumni news, The Rensselaer Alumni Association's China chapter recently met with President Shirley Ann Jackson and a delegation of Rensselaer representatives when they visited China for the World Economic Forum. The chapter created a video that highlighted the career achievements of Rensselaer alumni in China. That's it for this edition of Inside Rensselaer. Join us again in two weeks for another episode. For in-depth versions of these stories and more, visit rpi.edu slash about slash inside. Thanks for listening.